Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. The news just keeps rolling in and the hype train is at maximum speed. The red one's about to blow! It sure is, Doc. And in this video, we'll touch on our first piece of news about Destiny 2's first DLC, rumored to be called The Curse of Osiris. We also have some news about Destiny 2's live-action trailer and the final confirmation of the North American release of the game. That and more, so let's jump into it. So first, let's talk trailer news. It wouldn't be a major Destiny release without a live-action trailer accompanied by some Zeppelin. And sure enough, Bungie did announce today that the Destiny 2 live-action trailer will be dropping tomorrow morning, that's Friday, August 31st, at 10 a.m. Pacific. The announcement made on Twitter was accompanied with a little teaser. It shows a fire team of Guardians locked and loaded, and you can bet we will see some intense gunfighting action against the Cabal. Here is that teaser with all of its awesome audio glory. I could probably watch that loop for hours. Anyways, let's jump into some DLC news. We know there are two DLCs coming for the first year of Destiny 1, and up until today we didn't have any real information about this DLC, not even titles for them, but today by way of Kotaku and Jason Schreier, we have a bit more information of what we can expect from the first DLC. Jason states, Yesterday a source sent over some high-level details on the upcoming DLC, which is called The Curse of Osiris, and is scheduled to be out in December, three months after Destiny 2 launches on September 6th. According to those details, which I've corroborated with a second source familiar with the plans for Destiny 2, the Curse of Osiris will come with a patrol zone on the planet Mercury and a social space on the Lighthouse, an area that in Destiny 1 was only available to players who netted flawless records in the Player vs. Player Gauntlet Trials of Osiris. The DLC story will revolve around saving Osiris, who has been mentioned quite a bit in Destiny's lore, but not yet seen in-game, from the robotic alien Vex. We should hear more about it soon. Now, even though we should take this with a grain of salt, Jason Schreier is very reliable when it comes to Destiny information. I don't remember the last time he was wrong about a piece of Destiny news over the past few years. Also, this concept was speculated to have been part of the original vanilla story for Destiny 1 before the plot got a complete rework. And I believe that the lighthouse was originally supposed to be a much more open social space, complete with its own NPCs and vendors. You can't deny that the design for the lighthouse in Destiny 1 lends itself to be filled with much more than it is right now. Also, back in the original Plans for Destiny story, the Stranger was Osiris' assistant, so I will be very curious to see if she makes a return with this DLC. Luke Smith didn't seem to have intentions to bring her back, but he was also surprised with how intrigued we were with her character, so it would be really cool if they somehow worked her back in. Again, be sure to take this news with a grain of salt until we learn more officially from Bungie. Now moving on, we have some exciting news about the North American release of the game. Those of us wondering how things would be rolling out across the world now have some official confirmation via a countdown trailer by PlayStation. It announces the game will be playable in North America at 9 p.m. Pacific. That's midnight Eastern and midnight across the rest of the world. While it's nice that those in the West Coast like me will be getting the game a few hours early, I am a little concerned about the entirety of North America getting online at the same time. I thoroughly expect there to be a very long queue. Also, in another note, preloading for the PlayStation version should be kicking in tomorrow. I'll be sure to pin a comment down below when that goes live, so if nowhere else, you'll have a source of news here. Now before I sign off, I want to quickly touch on Hurricane Harvey in Houston. This is no doubt a very tragic event that is occurring right now in the US. I love Houston and it breaks my heart to see any images or video of the devastation. Amazingly, Bungie has prepared a special Destiny 2 pin that you can purchase and all proceeds will benefit direct relief to the people in Houston, Texas in this time of great need. Purchasing the pin also comes with an in-game Destiny 2 emblem, similar to the Destiny 1 Bungie Foundation emblem we got before. So you'll be able to showcase that in-game if you so choose. They are currently sold out of pins, but will fulfill any new orders in October. Regardless, I recommend placing your order anyways. Houston needs our help now. Anyways, drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time.